interviews have always been awkward and uncomfortable. And now that everything has moved to a digital format, it does not make it any less weird. What's up, everyone? My name is Anthony Cofrancesco from Honest Careers, and today I'm answering a question that we actually got a few days ago in the comments, and that is, what can I do to make my Zoom interviews less awkward? Today, I'm going to be giving you five tips that you can start using right away in your interviews that will really help, but stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to give you one really simple hack that you can use, and it's not only going to help your interviews be less awkward, it's actually going to help you deliver your answers much smoother and much more polished. Let's jump right into it. The first tip that is really crucial in having a smooth and less awkward interview from the beginning is small talk. Humans thrive on having an interaction with another person and having some kind of connection. So when I go into my interviews, once we've found out that the cameras are working and we can hear each other all right, I like to follow up with just asking a simple question. And so some that I really like are saying things like, hey, so I'm super curious to know anytime I get into one of these calls, where in the world are you calling from today? Some simple thing about where they are, you can make a connection whether you've been to that city or you've been to that state will really help open up and set the tone of the interview. Other questions that I really like are things related to if you're asking where are they at, you can say, hey, what are the COVID restrictions like in your state? In my state, things are pretty locked down or they're open. Another question that I always like to ask is saying, hey, this whole COVID thing has been crazy. Are you the kind of person that likes this digital stuff that you enjoy working from home? Or are you one of the people that actually prefers to get into the office? Again, the question itself isn't that important, but it's just something not related to the job or not related to the interview itself. And this is gonna help the person open up. You have some common ground for building rapport. And if you don't jump straight into the interview questions, if you can avoid jumping straight into the interview questions, it's gonna help you be a lot more calm and composed because you're starting off some really easy softball kind of back and forth questions. The second tip is what I call practice at 150%. Now, when most people are going through and they're practicing their interview questions, they are reading back their practice responses at the normal baseline level that they talk at. Sometimes people are practicing and they're even going below what their baseline level is. This is the exact opposite of what you want to do. In fact, what you want to do is if your baseline level is here, when you're practicing giving your practice responses, go about 50% above that. Really ham it up, exaggerate your voice, exaggerate your tone, add crazy things into the responses that you're giving. What this is going to allow you to do is you're going to be comfortable now giving those interview questions at a much higher and exaggerated level than what your normal baseline is. And what this is going to allow you to do is when you actually go into the interview scenario, you're going to be a little bit more comfortable. And it's not going to dramatically change the way you answer questions, but it's going to give you a little bit of a bump, maybe about a 10% or a 15% bump, because now you've had the confidence to really practice loud, really practice moving around. And when you get into that scenario, you'll get this nice little up, bump, which you'll end up getting this nice little bump of about 10, 15%, which works really well. The next tip is to set up your environment. The really cool thing about doing a virtual interview is that you are in complete control of the environment that you're interviewing in. So I like to make a couple of tips here. First is to have your favorite drink or beverage ready to go before the interview. So this can be coffee, this can be tea, whatever is going to help you to relax. It's a really great thing to have as a little treat before you start. Also, I like to dress up before my interviews start. And so even though you're just going to be going to and sit in front of your computer, you're just doing a Zoom interview, I like doing the full dress up. Even if I'm not going to be wearing a suit jacket in the interview, just going through that process indicates to your brain, hey, you're doing something today that you've worked really hard for, something that's really important, and it can help put you in the mindset that, hey, I'm going to do an interview, and it's going to help you feel a little bit more comfortable while you do it. I like to also as well, make sure that your setup is solid well in advance of the interview. So check your camera, check your microphone and make sure everything is functional. Tip number four is to be honest. Now, this is gonna sound a little counterintuitive, but before I jump into the interview, if I'm feeling really nervous, I might actually go and tell the person who's interviewing me, hey, look, I just wanna level with you. I'm a pretty awkward person by default. 
I've practiced a lot for this interview. I even watched some YouTube videos on how to be less awkward during a Zoom interview. I'm gonna do my best, but I just wanted to put that out there on the table. And if you have any feedback for me while I'm going through the interview, please don't hesitate to say this. Now, this actually helps for a couple of different reasons. First and foremost is again, you've had that time to build some connection and build some rapport with the person who's interviewing you. Second is that most likely what's gonna happen, unless the person behind the camera interviewing you is just really mean, they're most likely gonna say something to the effect of, look, Anthony, don't sweat it. This virtual format is new for me as well. Take your time doing the interview, enjoy yourself, relax. Everything is going to be just fine. This is gonna put you at ease. And it's also, again, gonna help you seem like a more human person. The other thing that is really helpful about this is if you start rambling or if you start talking too fast, or you start becoming noticeably anxious during the interview. I've had interviewers that actually say, look, Anthony, you're going a little bit quick here. Just take your time, right? slow down and answer the question fully and completely. And they actually will give you that feedback during the interview because they will want to work with you. They want to make, make sure that you're giving the best possible answers so that they can evaluate you as to whether or not you're a good candidate. Tip number five, and I wanted to save this until the end because this is kind of the no brainer, is study for the test. The thing about interviews that a lot of people don't seem to understand is that the interview is really just like a test. There's right answers and there's wrong answers. And if you know what the right answers are, you're more likely to pass the test. And if you haven't prepped at all, you're gonna be blindsided. So there's a really great list of interview questions down below in the link. These are a list of the top 50 interview questions by Forbes. I guarantee you, if you know the answer to every single one of these questions, you will never come across a question in an interview uh, that doesn't cover one of these. I've literally done more than 100 interviews in my lifetime, and I've never seen a question that has been so crazy that it hasn't been on this list. So again, if you know the answers in advance, it's going to go a long way in helping you feel more comfortable to, to make sure that you're actually able to give the correct answers and know what, what thing on your resume or from your past experience actually answers the question that they are asking. All right, so here is the bonus. This last tip is very simple to implement, but also very effective. And that is once the interview has started, once you're actually going through and answering the questions, just use the Alt tab on your keyboard and actually change it so that you don't see yourself and you don't see the interviewer while you're answering the question. This can be particularly helpful because now the only thing you have to focus on is looking at the camera itself. In fact, when you're practicing, I recommend just focus on, you know what the question is, focus on looking directly into the lens of the camera. It might seem scary in theory, but when you get used to doing this, especially during your practice rounds, it's much easier than trying to look at the Zoom screen and then what most people do is they end up looking just at themselves or they look at the interviewer and they get really nervous about, hey, is the way that I'm answering the question, they're trying to interpret the body language of the interviewer and this is just not a good strategy. So what you can do again is just tab out of that Zoom browser. You're not shutting off your video. You're not making it so that the interviewer can't see you, but you're just giving yourself less to focus on. What's an even better tip is having an open screen, maybe with a single photo of something that calms you down. So what I like is maybe a nice beach environment. And again, as soon as I start answering the question, alt tab, and then I'm looking directly into the camera screen. When you're going through and you're practicing the interview, I recommend, again, practicing looking directly at the camera. Record yourself over and over again, answering those interview questions, looking directly into the lens of the camera. And again, it's gonna give your brain a lot less to focus on and you're gonna be able to focus on, okay, is the delivery on how I'm saying what I wanna say, is it coming across smooth? And you can really critique yourself in the end. So I hope you found those interview tips helpful, please let us know down in the comments below. We're making new content all the time. Let us know what questions you would like to have answered here. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up down below and we really appreciate it. Thanks so much and have an awesome day.